Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to another episode. Today we're going to analyze as usual the Bitcoin price and also compare it to the DXY as usual. And we also gonna have a look into the Ethereum price and the Bitcoin dominance at the end of this video. So make sure to stay tuned here till the end. And now before we start my friends, don't forget that you can trade Bitcoin and Ethereum over on Bybit or Femex. So if you think that the price will go down then you can open up a short position if you think that we're gonna bounce from here and go to the upside you can open up a long position so make sure that you're trading over on Bybit or Femex those are the recommended exchanges that I'm also using if you use my referral links that you find down below here in the video description you not only support the channel but you also will get some rewards and some extra bonus and currently on Bybit we have this extra $500 bonus if you put this voucher codes in the rewards hub so definitely go and try out Bybit and Femex if you want to trade Bitcoin and other assets up to 100x leverage so also with small amounts you can do some very nice gains and a little side note an update on this prime xpt co-vesting feature the top trader no one is back into the game with this new strategy it's called the phoenix rising so if you are interested in doing this co-vesting thing where you can copy trade other traders then make sure to use my referral link for prime xpt that you find down below here in the video description and also follow this new strategy i know it is very hard to get in there but maybe you can try try out to put small minimum amounts to get into this strategy and follow this top trader because this trader had over 10,000 percent of gains in his last strategy and I know the demand is very high right now to enter in this strategy in the future there will be more strategies coming from this trader so make sure that you also subscribe to my discord trading chat I will always announce if there is a bigger update or new strategies over on prime xpt if you want to follow this top trader otherwise of course there are also many other traders that you can follow but as you can see most of them are not always profitable and if you sort it here also by traders that got wrecked you can see that there are many of them so be very careful when you copy trade other traders but this one over here so far had a very nice performance and so far never got wrecked so if you want to try it out at the first time maybe this co-vesting feature try it out with this number one trader instead of just going blindly into some other traders all right my friends and now let's start with the content because bitcoin is once again in a very critical point we are getting some resistance up here at around eighteen thousand dollar and after getting here a sell signal you can see that we are again starting here in consolidation mode and we have a current support at around seventeen thousand dollar so we are about to break out here to the upside or to the downside pretty soon and you definitely definitely don't want to miss out this trade opportunity so if you are not already in a trade then wait here for a breakout here to the upside if we are breaking $17,900 to open up a long position and if we are breaking below $17,000 consider maybe to open up a little short position I don't recommend you to open up shorts during an uptrend but if you want to take here a trade then of course you should be looking for a short opportunity here because if Bitcoin is going to have a bigger correction down towards the 200 moving average here in the four hour time frame the target would be here at around fourteen thousand four hundred dollars so that would be a very nice trade if you short it down to this price level although you can see that the rsi is coming down now we have to see what will happen once we're going to touch here the 50 level in the rsi if we have a drop below the 50 level and also have a four hour closing below the 20 moving average which currently is at 17,350, then watch out for this possible correction which could be incoming and also if you have a look into the dxy you can see that we are here in a possible w formation which of course is bearish for the bitcoin price because if the dxy is having here a double bottom formation and it's pumping again towards 93 and higher we could see a massive correction in the stock market and also in the bitcoin price so as i told you also yesterday my friends if the dxy is creating a lower low so lower than 92 dollars 
then be prepared to see a massive waterfall here to the downside and the opposite in the Bitcoin price, a big lag to the upside. But since here we are potentially going to create a double bottom formation in the four hour, I'm looking here to see continuation to the upside in the DXY and therefore we could be in here a correction in the Bitcoin price. And since Bitcoin is looking very exhausted and overbought currently, I think a correction is very likely to come and the question is only what are the targets. So at least here in the four hour time frame, my target would be here at around $14,400 where the 200 moving average is lining up if we're going to see a break breakout here to the downside in the next couple of hours or maybe even days but I think we will see the breakout most likely today and now we can head over into the daily time frame because also here you can see that currently we are far away from all the moving averages and my target in case of a major correction is to reach at least here the 20 daily moving average at 15,500 dollar and if this one is not holding then be prepared to see a full retracement back here into this channel that we were in here in the last couple of days and weeks and the target would be here at around eleven thousand five hundred dollar this is also where more or less the 200 daily moving average will line up if we're gonna stay in this area here for another couple of days because you can see that the 200 daily moving average is coming now very close to the main support of this channel which is currently at eleven thousand five hundred dollar and this is also where I have most of my buy orders from all the profits that I took on the way here to the upside and also RSI and my own indicator as you can see are very overbought and it screams like it wants to see a correction here so a correction will come the question is only how low will we go and if we have a look now into the Bollinger Band you can see that currently we're still trading here right at the top and also so far we never had a daily close below the nine day moving average and I told you my friends as long as we're not seeing a daily close below the nine day moving average so below 16,650 we should be still heading to the upside and you shouldn't consider to sell or short Bitcoin right now. So only if we would start to close candles below the nine day moving average and also confirm it as a new resistance, then maybe consider to open up shorts and also maybe take some profits out to rebuy back in once we're gonna bottom out again somewhere. And the bottom here in the Bollinger Band is right here $13,000. So this is also a possible support level in case of a major correction. And you can also see that all indicators are still shifted to the upside. So in theory, we will see continuation to the upside, but be aware that if the DXY is starting to pump, that we could see a possible correction in the Bitcoin price coming up sooner than we thought. And you can also see here the DXY in the daily still getting rejected from the 20 and 50 daily moving average. We could get the buy signal here pretty soon. It is possible because the money flow is coming back into the DXY. So we're going to have to see what will happen here in the next couple of days. But I think the DXY could see a possible pump here at least another attempt to break it through the 20 and 50 daily moving average and therefore also maybe go up to test the 100 or 200 daily moving average before continue its bear market because the DXY is still looking very bearish even though of course on the way to the downside we will see also some bounces that of course brings into corrections in the Bitcoin price and also in the stock market. And remember that the DXY is still in a huge big bear market and we should consider that the DXY will have a major crash in the next couple of months and years and therefore I'm still very bullish for the Bitcoin price and also for the stocks. So make sure that you have already a HODL portfolio for Bitcoin and not gonna panic sell at any time because for the long term you should be doing very fine holding Bitcoin. So if you're buying or selling or going long or short over on Bybit or Femex, make sure that you use only some small amounts. So only a little portion of your HODL portfolio, just a trading portfolio. So even if you would get wrecked, you will never lose your HODL portfolio. That is very, very important for the long term. And now we can also have a look into the weekly time frame in the Bitcoin price because here I want to show you once more the 20 weekly moving average which currently is also right here at our main support of around $12,000 to $11,500 and this is where I think most likely Bitcoin could have a complete retracement back down here to test again this 12k area and then create another base and gear up for another big leg to the upside. It is still possible that we're gonna first create a new all-time high. It is possible that we first gonna 
break 20k before a major correction but since we could expect this correction at any time i think the 20 weekly moving average is a very important support level that we have to keep an eye on all the time doesn't matter where the price is so if we are starting slowly to correct right now and we're not just going straight down like an elevator then first i'm expecting some support here at around fifteen thousand dollar if this one will not hold then watch out for this thirteen thousand dollar if we're gonna fall even more more than watch out for the 20 weekly moving average and the main support here between eleven thousand five hundred and twelve thousand dollar this is where i'm going to go again all in into bitcoin of course i have also some altcoins that i'm going to keep for the next parabolic run and i will also reveal you what kind of altcoins that i'm also hodling for the next parabolic run because my altcoin portfolio sometimes is bigger because of swing trades but for the long term i'm hodling only three altcoins and i will tell you also what are the three altcoins that i'm going to keep for the next big parabolic run up in the next couple of months and years and therefore let's go now over into the bitcoin dominance and we're gonna stay here in the weekly chart because if we zoom out you can see that currently the bitcoin dominance is still here in consolidation in this wedge and we most likely gonna have a big breakout to the upside or to the downside incoming here pretty soon i'm expecting this breakout in the next couple of weeks and since i think that bitcoin will lead in the next big bull cycle i think that we are gonna have a breakout here to the upside so that's why i'm not hodling a lot of altcoins only three of them but before we're gonna have a breakout here to the upside i think that most likely we're gonna have another last leg to the downside here potentially to retest here the support of around 60% and then have a final move here to the upside at least this is my expectation and if we would see such a scenario then be prepared that some altcoins could have another big run up at least compared to the bitcoin price and a good example is here ethereum to bitcoin because if we go into the daily time frame you can see that currently we are sitting in this potential falling wedge which of course is a very bullish pattern and i'm expecting also here a big breakout to the upside as soon as the bitcoin dominance is starting again to fall so the ethereum to bitcoin pair is looking very bullish in my opinion and here we could expect a big breakout to the upside incoming pretty soon especially if here the bitcoin dominance is getting rejected up here in these levels at around 68 percent because this was so far our resistance point and here i'm expecting another leg to the downside potentially to test again the 60 percent and therefore we might see another little altcoin season incoming and that's why i think holding also some altcoins is a good idea because like that you can also multiply your bitcoin and next to trading of course i know it is very hard to pick up the right altcoins to do this swing trade or also for the next big parabolic run up because if you go over to binance you can see that we have thousands of altcoins and it is very hard to pick the right ones of course some of them will perform very well maybe even outperform bitcoin but if you just stick with the big boy if you stick with bitcoin you should be doing fine but of course you can also try with some small amounts of money also to gamble a bit with the altcoins and therefore of course you can do this best over on binance you find also the link to binance down below here in the video description if you need a binance account and the altcoins that i'm holding right now and i also gonna hold for the next big parabolic run up are three very simple alt coins first of course ethereum then binance coin bnb and the third one is Chainlink. so these three are the altcoins that i'm personally hodling for the next parabolic run-up i will do also some swing trades with other altcoins but these three are the altcoins that i'm gonna hodling for the next big parabolic run-up and if bitcoin is gonna have a bigger correction i'm also gonna load up some bags of these altcoins next to bitcoin of course because i always recommend you to hold 95 percent in bitcoin and the rest you can spread over altcoins but never more than that so let me know my friends what are you thinking about these three altcoins and of course you can also let me know what kind of altcoins that you are hodling for the next big parabolic run up you can let me know down below here in the comment section in the youtube video or also contact me over on discord or 
put it in the public discord trading chat you find the link down below here in the video description so and with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now thank you very much for watching don't forget to smash that like button and also subscribe to the channel very important i do daily ta videos and also i keep you updated what is going on out there in the crypto space so thank you very much my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye